Hi, it's Miss Patty from Sunday School. Today I want to do open, shut them. Are you ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your chin. You know where your chin is? Sure, it's right there, isn't it? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your wrist. Where's your wrist? Can you touch both wrists? Right here. This part where your hand bends and it connects to your arm, that's your wrist. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your eyebrows. Can you see my eyebrows? They're right up here. They're the hair that goes across the top of your eyes, your eyebrows. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your forearm. Where's that? The forearm. Do you have forearms? <laughs> no. The forearm is the first part of your arm. It's between your wrist and right here where your arm bends. This part is your forearm. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your ear lobe. You know where your ears are, but where's your ear lobe? It's right down here. It's where I keep my ear rings. Right this bottom part that hangs down right there, that's your ear lobe. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your ankle. Do you know where your ankle is? It's hard for me to show you my ankle because I'm in the seat here, but it's the part that connects, makes your leg, your foot move. It's the part right there, kind of like your wrist. It's the joint between your foot and your leg. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your eyelashes. Where are your eyelashes? I have to take off my glasses. The eyelashes are right here. Okay, one more. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your gums. Where are your gums? It's right here. It's the part that your teeth connect into. The pink part. When you brush your teeth, you also brush your gums. Those are your gums. You want to do a couple more? Okay. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your thighs. Do you know where your thighs are? I have to stand up to show me your to show you my thighs. The thighs are this part of your leg from your knee coming up. Right there, that's your thigh. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your forehead. Where's your forehead? Right up there. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your nostrils. Where are your nostrils? Right here. It's the part you breathe in. <laughs> Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your tail. We don't have a tail. <laughs> open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them on your wings. We don't have wings either. Today's story is an interesting story. It's about how Jesus did something and he didn't even need wings. But it was pretty cool the one he did. Let me get our flannel board pieces ready here. Now remember, we've been talking about the time after Jesus died on the cross, and then he came back, and he was alive again. That was a big, big miracle. It was always planned. God planned to do it that way, and Jesus knew that was what he was going to do. And then when he came back, he was back for 40 days, and he saw a lot of people, and he told them a lot of things. And this is right near the end of when he was back. They were walking. He had his friends with him. And they were walking along. And Jesus was telling them a lot of things. One of the things he was telling them was, Remember that I can't stay with you here on earth always. But I will always be with you in your heart. 
I will never leave you alone. I will be with you. But I won't be right here where you can hold my hand and have a meal with me. And they were walking along, and I don't think his friends really understood. I should put that up closer so you can see. There's Jesus walking along. There's some of his friends. They seem to have a little different ideas about things. When they first saw him, he said, don't be afraid. It's me. It's Jesus. His friends were probably really happy to see him. He said, don't you remember? Jesus said, I told you I would die, but then I would live again. And they were walking and talking. Jesus was with his friends many times. He taught his friends things that God wanted them to know. Jesus' friends were happy. But soon it was time for Jesus to go to heaven. One day Jesus and his friends walked out on to the country. He said to them, I want you to go and tell everyone about me. Tell them what you have seen and teach them all the things I have told you. And remember, I am always with you. Jesus wanted his friends to know that. He would always help them and tell others the good news about him. So then what happened? This was amazing. Jesus began to go up, 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 up. He went up, 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 up into the clouds. They couldn't even see him anymore. They were happy because they knew Jesus was alive, even though they couldn't see him. And they knew that they would see him again someday. There's the friends. It was a miracle. A big, big miracle. I have a new word for you. We used new words when we did our open shut them, didn't we? We talked about thighs and wrists and ankles. This is called ascension. When something goes up, like a hot air balloon, it goes up. It's ascending. If you've ever ridden in an elevator or on an escalator and you go up, it could be called that you are ascending. Going up means ascending. Well, the day that we remember that Jesus went up, the last time he was on earth and he went up into the clouds to see and be with God the Father, he was ascending, and we call this day Ascension because that's what he was doing. The friends walked back to Jerusalem. They went into the temple, and what do you think they did when they got into the temple? They told everybody. They sang praises to God, they prayed, they talked about God, they worshiped God, and they were happy because they knew the good news that Jesus was alive and Jesus would always be with them even though they couldn't see him. And that's the good news for us too. Jesus is always with us. Isn't that the best news? Jesus' friends were glad that he was alive and that he would always be with them. We're glad to know the good news that Jesus is alive too. We can thank God for this good news. The Bible tells us Jesus said, I am alive forever and ever. Wow. Can you say that word ascension? And what does it mean? Yeah, it means that he went up, up, up. That was so incredible. Here's our page for today. We have stickers to put on there. Uh-oh. What did I do with my stickers? Oh, here they are. They're in my book. So, number one. Here's our stickers. And here's the white places are places where we need to put the stickers to tell the story. And the stickers have numbers on them. So here's number one. Who do you think that is? That's Jesus. 
There he is. He's with his friends. And here's number two. I think he's walking with his friends. Here's number three. Yeah, they are. They're walking with him. Walking a long ways. Our story doesn't say it, but I think he was on a mountaintop. I'd have to go back and read the Bible for sure, but I'm pretty sure that he was on a mountain. Up. And it kind of looks here like he's on a high ground. So here they are, still walking, walking. And then here's the really big surprise. Woohoo! Jesus just rose, rose, rose. He ascended right up into the sky. Isn't that incredible? And our stickers say, Good news. Jesus is alive. And this says, good work. The other side of our page says, Jesus said, I am alive forever and ever. And then it says down here, X out 10 silly things you see in this picture. Circle the things in the picture that you are thankful for. Well, I am thankful that Jesus is alive. I'll circle that one. I think a horse eating, uh, drinking out of a cup is silly. I think this is nice. I'm thankful for sheep and for children that are kind to animals. <laughs> I don't think a dog would wear a cowboy hat and feed the lambs. That's silly. Look at the size of that fork. That's silly. And that shoe. This looks like a big bag of cookies. I don't know. It says feed, but it has cookies on it. I think that's silly. They wouldn't feed the animals cookies. <laughs> Here's a donut on this tire for the tractor. I'm going to circle a sailboat because I like to go on my sailboat, but I'm going to put an X on the boat being on a picture and the hens watching it outside. That's silly. I think this is nice. I'm thankful for mamas and little kids. I'm thankful for daddies and little kids. I'm thankful for farmers. I'm thankful for kids that take good care of their pets. These guys look like they're friends. I'm going to circle the friends I see. I don't think a cat would do sweeping. Do you think a cat would do sweeping? I don't think so. Let me hold this up a little closer so you can see the picture better. You see all the things I put X's on? Sort of, you can see it. My pen's not very dark today. And all the things I put circles around. Jesus said, I am alive forever and ever. Woohoo! That's the good news, all right. Let's do our family page. This says, How good it is to sing praises to our God. Jesus said, I am alive forever and ever. I think he's starting to rise up in that picture, don't you? What do we call that when he's rising up? Ascension. Yeah. Here's the Bible story. If you want to have your mamas or daddies or somebody read this to you, you can find this in three different places in the Bible. You can find it in the book of Matthew. It's kind of near the end because, remember, that's the story of Jesus, and now Jesus is rising up. So it's in chapter 28, and it's verses 16 to 20. And then it's also in the book of Luke, and also near the end. So that is chapter 24, verses 36 to 53. And the next part of the Bible after the gospel stories is the book of Acts. 
And the axe is kind of short for action. It means the things that they did after Jesus was there. All of his friends had to go out and tell the good news. Because some people hadn't gotten to see Jesus, and they had to learn about this miracle. So the axe means the acts of the apostles, the people that were spreading the good news after Jesus was gone. And so this is the very beginning of the Acts. It's chapter 1, verses 1 to 9. One day, it's true. It really is true. We have seen Jesus. He's not dead. He's alive. Wow, it's Jesus. Don't be afraid. It really is me. Remember, I told you I would die, but that I am alive again. On another day, Jesus was often with his friends. He taught them things that God wanted them to know. I am so happy Jesus is with us again. But on another day, it was time for Jesus to go back to heaven. Jesus and his friends walked into the country. Go and tell everyone about me. Tell them what you have seen. Teach them what I have told you. And remember, I am always with you. Then they did. Wow, Jesus is gone. He did go back to heaven. Let's go to Jerusalem. Jesus is alive. He will always care for us. Even though we can't see Jesus now, we will see him again someday. Isn't that amazing? The story of Jesus is one miracle after another miracle after another miracle. The miracle of how he was born at Christmas time, we celebrate that. The miracle at Easter, how he died on the cross, and people were so sad. And then he rose again and came back to life. And he was with his friends long enough to teach them some important lessons and to tell them he will always care for them. And he always cares for us, too. Wow. Who do you think our puppet is today? Do you have a guess? It's me. <laughs> hi, Callie. Yeah, hi. I'm pretty happy today. Whoa, what makes you so happy? Well, uh, uh, I have something I'd like to play a game with the kids today. Is that okay with you? I think they're, it's okay with them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to play a game and uh it's a guessing game and I'll give you a clue and everybody think and think and try to guess what I'm talking about. Okay, are you ready for the clue? Are you ready? Here it comes. Meow 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 did you get it? <laughs> I think I got it. Is it your birthday, Callie? Yes, 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 it's my birthday. I'm so excited. It's the good news that I'm thinking about. My birthday's here. You know what? That is good news, and I'm glad that you have a happy birthday. You have lots of people that will be fun for you on your birthday. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think I might be getting a new milk bowl. Oh, do you need a new one? Yeah, my other one got chipped, but we'll see. Whatever I get, I'll be happy with because people will be celebrating my birthday. <laughs> yes, they will. You know what? Our story today was about good news. Oh, was it about my birthday? <laughs> well, it wasn't. No, it was about good news with Jesus. Usually our Sunday school stories are about Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, this good news was about his ascension. And we have to tell everybody that Jesus is alive. And he is always with us, and he loves us and cares for us. And that's the really good news. Oh, yeah, that is really good news. Uh, I think I'll still go celebrate my birthday, though. <laughs> yeah, Callie, you should do that. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Remember, it's my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Callie. Well, that's our lesson for today. It was a really good one about Jesus ascending into heaven and how he still loves and cares for us, even today. So have a great week, and remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.